This is 1962 IMO problem number 4 and here is a view of this problem. Uh, we would like to solve uh, this equation, this trigonometric uh, equation. And uh, obviously you can uh, bash, this, bash this equation in numerous ways using some trigonometric identities. Uh, but for this solution I prefer to uh, use complex numbers uh, to solve this. And the main result that we would need uh, in order to accomplish that would be the, uh, the celebrated uh, de Moivre's uh, theorem. Um, so le let me just remind you that a complex number, for instance, on the unit circle, uh, can be uh, expressed as uh, cosine theta uh, plus i sine of theta. Uh, we usually call this the polar representation of, uh, of this um complex number. Uh, obviously, this complex number is on the uh, unit circle, so it has uh, um, it has size 1, uh, magnitude 1, and an alternative way to represent it, which is the Euler form, is also very nice. Indeed, uh, for the purpose of de Moivre's uh, theorem, all we need is to calculate the end power of that number, but obviously uh, it might be a better idea to use the uh, Euler form first. We want to take this, but then, uh, thankfully, uh, we can express this as such. And now we I can switch back to the polar uh, representation, which basically tells me that cosine and theta plus i sine and theta. This is known as uh, de, Moivre, de Moivre's uh, theorem. Uh, theorem. Um, it, it is uh, it's an extremely useful theorem. In a similar way, one can also express z to the power minus n using uh, the same uh, trick. And in that case, um, it would be just uh, e to the power i theta raised to the minus n power, which is e to the power theta i uh, m minus uh, theta n which is simply cosine, uh, cosine minus n theta is just cosine n theta again, but sine minus n theta is minus sine, so it's minus i sine n theta. And finally, uh, I can simply uh, add these expressions. So therefore, if I simply add these expressions and divide by 2, I would get, so these, uh, these terms would cancel out, so I would get uh, cosine n theta, so therefore cosine n theta uh, is simply equal to z to the power n plus z to the power minus n over 2. And in the case if I want to obtain sine n theta, all I will do is I will subtract those two expressions from each other and we would get i sine n theta is equal to z to the power n minus z to the power minus n over 2. And indeed, these are the two uh, expressions that I would need uh, to, solve to, to solve this problem. Uh, so now let's go ahead and uh, let's start with the first expression. So cosine x, obviously n in that case would be 1. So therefore our expression, so let's call it star. So star is equivalent to, uh, like I said, cosine x in that case would be z to the power 1 plus z to the power minus 1 over 2, and I want to square this, right? So, And the same thing for cosine 2x, so plus z squared plus z to the minus 2 divided by 2 squared, and finally uh, 3x, just replace it, huh? uh, z... Uh, Three, uh, z, yeah, z3 and 3x, so therefore this must be z3 plus z to the power minus 3 all divided by 2 squared. And that expression is equal to 0, uh, sorry, is equal to 1 apparently. Uh, now th this part is just uh, bashing out all these, so I can just factor in the denominators and moving it to the right hand side, so uh, I, I can just simply focus on the uh, on the numerator. So we have z square uh, plus 1 plus z to the power minus 2 plus this one uh, z to the 4 plus 1 plus, uh, z, uh, plus 2, sorry, 
uh, 2AB, right? So, <laughs> okay, for the, 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 that was silly. Um, so, multiply them and times 2, right? So, right, right, right. So, there's a 2 here. That's a 2. That's a Z. Z, Z, Z. Those are 2s. A plus, again, the same thing. A Z to the power 6 plus 2 plus z to the power minus 6 and as I said the denominators are all 4 when you square them and you send them to the other side um, and then finally what I will do is obviously the 2's 2 of the 2's will cancel with the 4 we have 0 on the right hand side uh, let me now uh, be careful and rearrange these terms on the left hand side I will order them from the uh, let's say from the lowest term all the way to the highest term so we start with z to the power minus 6 plus we have a z to the power uh, minus 4 plus z to the power minus 2 and at this point I will make a trick I will split this 2 into two parts I will add one of the parts here and then I continue adding the other one, so z squared plus uh, I have z4. What happened to my z minus 4? Oh boy, that was a z. Okay, so luckily it doesn't affect the thing again. I do a lot of silly mistakes, as you can see. Algebra is hard. Uh, z to the 6, and that's equal to, remember, I split these two into two parts. I have one here, and I send the other one onto the other side. Um, so what is the benefit of this? We just realized that the left-hand side of this expression is just a uh, geometric uh, geometric progression, right? So we have a geometric sum on the left-hand side, so I can just uh, play with it. Uh, let's just do a little bit uh, bashing here. So let's call z squared as u. So therefore my expression simply become... Uh, um, okay so let's do it in two steps so we have a u minus 3 plus u minus 2 plus u minus 1 plus 1 plus u plus u squared plus u cubed is equal to negative 1 I can factor out u cubed u minus 3 actually sorry for that so therefore my expression will look like this all the way up to u to the power um, I think 6 right and finally, uh, this expression is equivalent to, so keep the u to the power minus 3. Uh, remember that uh, this expression is just equal to, um, everybody should know how to factorize this, I guess, u minus 1. Oops, the right hand side was minus 1, not 1. Sorry for that. So that's equal to minus 1. Finally, let's distribute this u to the power minus 3 in onto this. So therefore, our expression is finally equivalent to u to the power 4 minus u minus 3, all divided by u minus 3 equal to minus 1. Now let's substitute back in the, that expression. So we have z to the power... Um, uh, z um, uh, z to the power 8, right? So minus z to the power minus 6 all divided by z squared minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Uh, let me now uh, go ahead and, uh, yeah, cross multiply these. So therefore, um, that's equivalent to uh, z to the power 8 minus z to the power minus 6 is equal to minus uh, z squared uh, minus 1 and let me go ahead and hold on now this is an awesome expression because we can simply divide both sides of this expression by z and we would get z to the power 7 uh, minus z to the power minus 7 is equal to minus z minus z to the power minus 1. And let's see if you now recognize these two expressions. Obviously, they are very familiar. They resemble this one here. So indeed, uh, let me carry this expression down. So recall, uh, let's do it here. Recall, uh, so I, if I can just simply factor out the 2 to the other side. So 2i sine, uh, so 2i sine, and theta is simply equal to z to the power n minus z to the power minus n. Obviously, therefore, this expression on the left-hand side is equivalent to 2i 
sine uh, 7. Um, that's right, 7 theta, 7x in our case, our angle is x. Uh, and this one minus 2i sine, uh, sine theta. That's it. Oh, sorry, I meant to say x. Sorry for that silly, <laughs> silly mistakes. All right, but you just realize that the two i's cancel out. We have a minus sign here. We can just take it inside. So therefore, finally, we have the following expression. So sine 7x is equal to sine uh, minus x. Uh, let me remind you, uh, uh, well, uh, you, you guys all know, obviously, that uh, if uh, the sine s i n uh, e the sine of uh, two angles are equal either those two angles are equivalent so therefore we have two cases so uh, therefore uh, so either let's write them either those two angles they are equal up to 2k pi huh? uh, so either uh, 7x is equal to minus x plus 2k pi right or Let's have both of them, or uh, they add up to 180 degrees, right? So th therefore, huh? so that's also very well known. So those two angles add up to so 7x plus minus x is equal to pi or 2k uh, plus 2k pi, obviously. So from the first one, uh, we just get that so 6x or so finally x is equal to uh, 2k pi over uh, oh sorry sorry not 6 8 so 7x plus x is 8 so 2k pi over uh, 8 which is k pi uh, over 4 that's a pi and from the second one we get that so 6x uh, so therefore x uh, is equal to uh, pi plus 2k pi uh, over 6 or if you will we can arrange this 2k plus 1 pi uh, over 6 now there's only one uh, one area where we need to be careful here and it is the fact that uh, here for the second solution we have a bogus uh, result k equals 0 does not work so k equals 0 is not good uh, in mod or you can say k equal congruent to 0 in mod 4 is not good but all the other results k equals 1 2 and 3 uh, works uh, uh, i suspect this happened because uh, when we expressed uh, let me see is that why it happened uh, z square um i suspect probably it happened when we expressed this we created some new uh, roots um Actually, I'm not sure about that. Um, because obviously if k is equal to 0, then you have uh, x is 0. And obviously that won't work, right? So because cosine 0 is just 1, so the answer comes out as 3. Uh, so I leave it to you as an exercise to to figure why this uh, this one is, uh, is, is not good. Uh, and you can obviously use the comment section uh, below uh, to, to to make a discussion forum uh, amongst the sh each other. Uh, I, I want to uh, make note that I receive every day a lot of messages and comments for pretty much so many videos that I have already uh, on YouTube. So it's almost impossible for me to answer all these. So from time to time I try to uh, like the comments or make a few uh, answers. But uh, I, I apologize that, I, as I said, I don't have time to to answer uh, all these questions. But make sure to still put the comments. Uh, at least some other people can see those comments and they can uh, respond to those comments. So that's always uh, pretty good. So if you can make a general question, if you have anything that you didn't understand in the video, then um, then obviously some other people you have the chance for other people to respond to your questions uh, so coming back to this uh, we just realized for instance let's say if k is equal to 1 from the first one this one uh, we just realized that x is equal to uh, 45 degrees and pi over 4 uh, should work or for instance from this expression we suspect that k is 0 it would give us pi over 6 that should work or um, and so on so obviously so you, there, there are other so for instance k equals 1 would give us 3 pi over 6 which is uh, so um, if you want we can test these 
uh, for instance, pi over 4 and pi over 6. If I plug in pi over 4, indeed, uh, um, cosine 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. So, therefore, we have root 2 over 2 square. And then cosine 90 is 0. So, uh, root 2 over 2 square is 1 half. From this one, we'll get 1 half. This one will give me 0. And from this one, we'll get another 1 half because cosine um, 3 times 45 is 135 is just minus uh, root 2 over 2 but when you square them it gives you the desired result so that works so 1 half plus 1 half is 1 or if we plugged in 30 degrees we would have gotten th root 3 over 2 square which is 3 over 4 this one would have been um, um, 60 degrees so which means uh, yeah cosine 60 is 1 half so which is 1 fourth and finally cosine 90 is just 0 again and boom 3 fourths plus 1 fourth is so th therefore those roots uh, seem uh, reasonable Alright, so we are done with this problem and hope you enjoyed it and looking forward to see you guys in our next lecture.